Hi, I'm Dan McGinnis, continuing our story about branding and the uniqueness of it. So the pumpkin parade grew to where we had 50 parade entries in the parade. The parade started in front of our house and went through our geographical farm area where we listed 175 homes out of 500 homes over a period of 15 years and 174 of those 175 listings sold. Have I got your attention yet? Some examples of parade entries that were extremely unique. We had Burton Barr, who was running for governor for the state of Arizona as a grand marshal one year in the parade. We brought in an aircraft carrier float from San Diego on a flatbed truck as one of the parade entries. We had a color guard flown in from Salina, Kansas in the parade. The last entry in the parade was a truck with 2,000 pumpkins and eight boys with orange t-shirts that said, Friend of the Pumpkin Man, handing out the pumpkins along the parade route. My wife and I rode in a gold Rolls Royce convertible and threw out 300 pounds of individually wrapped candy to the kids along the parade route. And did I mention to you, NBC, CBS, ABC all came out with their TV cameras and filmed the parade and put it on the news. And did I mention to you, one year, a lady flew in from California to be in the parade, a real estate broker. She was probably 75 years old at the time. And she said, did you know you made it in USA Today? I said, what are you talking about? She said, well, on the airplane, I was telling this man, I'm going to be in the pumpkin parade today. And the man on the airplane said, yes, I read about it in the USA Today, right? Here it is. And there was an article about Dan McGinnis, real estate agent in Phoenix, Arizona, was going to be giving away a couple of thousand pumpkins. Now, do you see the uniqueness of branding yet? I'm hoping that this will create a thought, an idea that will pop into your head. And we'll continue on the next video.